Hey everyone, um, this is going to be part two of my fourth IUI and hopefully my last IUI. Um, the last time I left off was um, my doctor had contacted us on Friday, last Friday, and stated that my estrogen level was um, good and then also I had a follicle on my left side and a follicle on my right side, which is awesome because I'd rather them be on one side. Um, like opposite sides than two on one side because in my opinion the swimmers have <laughs> no wrong way to go. Um, we did trigger shot on Saturday and then our IUI was Monday the 21st. We went up and on Sunday and stayed with our family so that we didn't have to get up so early and I did have to take a half day of vacation from work which kind of sucked but it's it's all right. Um, my husband's sperm count was 104 million, and then his morphology was 11%. So he is still um, exceeding, you know, the normal range, and so he is, in my opinion, a little bit of an overachiever, but in a good way. Um, when they did the procedure, I did have a little bit of discomfort this time. Um, especially with the catheter, but it wasn't like anything I couldn't tolerate, and it was only for a, literally like a second. But other than that, I really didn't have any discomfort at all. I laid there for 20 minutes because that's what they suggest, and then um, when we went home, I actually had my husband drive, and I laid my seat all the way back and laid down on our whole for our two-hour trip home. So I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not, but I figured it couldn't hurt. So, and plus I had to go to work when I got back in town. So, you know, I kind of wanted to rest up a little bit. Last week was definitely um, stressful due to traveling so much. But, I mean, you know, we, we got to do what we got to do, right? So my two-week wait will be up on the... 5th of May, and I'm not sure if I'm going to test early or not. I'm probably going to try not to um, because last time my cycle actually came early, so I'm kind of assuming it might do the same, and so I'm just going to probably wait it out. I think that's going to be best for me at this point. I do have some things that are keeping me busy during this two-week wait, which is I'm grateful for. Um, my softball team has started their games and I was going to play with them and but I decided last minute not to so I'm kind of just there as support and keeping score. Um, I just didn't want to get go ahead and start playing and then get pregnant and have to stop and so I just thought it was the best just not to even attempt to play this year. Um, but, you know, I will be going to the games, and that'll definitely keep my mind off of things. And then I'm also um, probably going to get my cousin, my little cousin, this week weekend. He's uh, four years old, so he keeps me pretty busy during the weekends. And then I'm also planning for my friend's graduation. She's been in school since I've known her, and um, so at least, at least six years, if not more. Um, and she's finally graduating which I believe is her bachelor's, so I'm very proud of her. She's a single mom, and she works full-time and goes to school at night, um, and then sometimes she went to school during the day, so she's, you know, this is a big deal to her, so I'm very excited to celebrate that with her. Um, as far as symptoms go this round, I really didn't have too much symptoms yet. I've the only thing that I've noticed is that I've had migraines again. Um, I had them last time around this this the end part because I think it's the injections that are just coming out of my system. Um, and I was bloated yesterday, pretty bad. I had some cramping yesterday, but that that's about it. So as far as symptoms go, I don't really have much, but 
I just wanted to give a shout out to Someday Mama. You and your husband are amazing and I am so, so excited that this IVF process worked for you. And I am dull excited because you're having twins. So I can't wait to continue watching your videos through your pregnancy. And um, I know those babies are gonna be spoiled rotten and they are gonna be pretty dang cute. Well, everybody, I will definitely keep you updated, and everyone who is going through this process, you are in my thoughts and prayers, fingers crossed for everyone, and everyone who has gotten their BFP, congratulations. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, those of us who haven't gotten that yet are going to follow here shortly, and I hope everyone has a great week.